Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and in today's video, I want to do another video in my Meet My Rat series. Now, this is a series I've done for the past few years, and usually updating it in December. And I basically just go over an individual rat and talk about their history and personality and so forth. However, last year I started a bit of a trend where I kind of just went over the rats that I have at the time in one video first, before going on to individual rat-focused videos. And I thought I'd do that here because I've had a lot of people ask what rats I have right now. So I'm going to go over them in terms of when I got them and just do a very short overview and leave the details to their individual videos. So first we have Espresso and she is a Russian blue hooded rat. She is currently my oldest rat at around 19 or 20 months old. And she is the remaining sister of Biscuit and Oreo. Uh, she came from a feeder bin. I got her when she was four weeks old. She's very friendly and inquisitive, and she loves to run around. She kind of has two modes. She's either running around and exploring, or she's asleep. So, yeah, she's a very funny little rat, and she's a lot of fun to be around. My next two rats on the list would be my girls, Mocha and S'more. And the reason I'm doing them at the same time is because I got them, well, at the same time. So I got both girls when they were six weeks old. They came from someone's oops litter, where they got the mom pregnant from a pet store by accident. And they are both pretty timid. Um, Mocha is a lot more confident. She is the Black Berkshire, and she is pretty fun to be around. Um, she used to be a lot more timid, but recently she's really come out of her shell, and she can be a lot of fun to train and such, because now that she's not so skittish, you can really take her out on her own, and she won't get as scared as she used to. And I have a feeling as she ages, she's just going to get more calm, and I think eventually she's going to be kind of like my previous timid girl, Cream, who really mellowed down at around a year old, which is how old Mocha is now. Then you have Mocha's sister, S'more, who is a silver fawn rat, and she is the most skittish rat I have right now, and I think the most skittish rat I've ever had. She will still sometimes shriek when you pick her up, and she's just not a fan of people at all. And I've had her since she was six weeks old, and she came from a good home, so this is just a purely genetic temperament issue. Like, she's just not really a pet quality rat in terms of temperament. However, with that being said, she's made a lot of progress. She's become a lot less skittish, and you can now handle her if you have food. Um, so that's a big, big step forward. But anyways, S'more is a little bit more difficult to work with because she's so skittish. But she's a lot of fun to watch, and she likes to play with you in terms of running after straws and such that you drag. And she also likes to climb all over me and just climb inside my blanket or something like that. So she's still a very sweet rat. She's just a lot more timid. The next rat I want to talk about is my girl Bean. I got Bean when she was around three and a half months old, and she was someone's former feeder rat. Now she was initially bought to be fed to a snake. However, after six weeks of that failing, the lady ended up putting her up for free on Craigslist as a pet or breeder or feeder or whatever, and I ended up taking her in. And I have to say, I got so lucky because Bean is the most sweet rat and just so fun to be around, and she's so energetic and just such a confident rat in general. She's just so much fun to be around, so much fun to train, and you just can't imagine her doing anything but being a perfect little pet. Like she's just such an amazing rat and easily one of my heart rats. And she can also be calm and enjoy just hanging out with you on your lap. So just a great little combination there. And I can't imagine my life without being right now. Now the next four rats on the list, I'm also going to talk about together because again, I got them together as a group. Now I'm first going to talk about the first three together because they are related and then the last rat on the list. So my first three rats here are going to be my girls Peaches, along with her two daughters Sugar and Spice. Now I got Peaches, Sugar, Spice, along with the other rat Coconut from the same lady who gave me Mocha and S'more. This lady ended up contacting me a few months after I took in Mocha and S'more, saying that she needed to find someone to rehome her rats to because she was moving and she couldn't care for them anymore. And so I volunteered to foster them when she couldn't find anyone, with the idea that I would help to socialize the two younger rats, who I thought were probably going to be pretty skittish, just like Mocha and S'more were, uh, or are in the case of S'more. And I was right about that, but anyways, I ended up deciding to keep them after seeing how skittish they were. And I'm glad I kept them, because while the girls are very skittish in general, 
They're also very sweet rats, and I feel like they really benefit from having a larger group of rats, especially with some confident rats in it, that they can emulate and really learn to trust from. Now my girls Sugar and Spice are the Dumbo twin pink-eyed white rats, so you can't really tell them apart. Uh, Sugar is a lot more confident than Spice, and this can be an issue when I accidentally grab Spice instead of Sugar because Sugar doesn't mind it while Spice does. But both girls are very sweet. Um, Sugar has learned a few more things than Spice, but both of them still haven't done too much trick training because up until recently they were very skittish. But both girls are making immense progress and I expect them to only continue to get better. Now the next girl I want to talk about would be my girl Peaches and she is the mom of Sugar, Spice, Mocha, and S'more. And you can definitely see that she's more on the skittish side and possibly where all her daughters got their temperament from, but in general Peaches has made a lot of leaps and bounds towards being a more tame and friendly rat and she's a lot easier to work with than she used to be. Um, you can easily handle her now and she enjoys food and she enjoys running around on you and just chasing after your hand or chasing after straws so she's a lot of fun to be around and it's been a lot of fun training her and playing with her and so forth and while she still isn't super confident I do think she's just going to continue making progress as she continues to be here. And finally, the last rat that I have right now is my girl Coconut. Now Coconut is just your standard pink-eyed white, top-eared, uh, standard-eared rat, and she was a former feeder before the lady who had peaches and all her daughters took her in. Anyways, Coconut is just such a sweet rat. She's an amazing rat to be around, and she's just so friendly. She's super fun to play with, and just so amazing in general. She loves to hand wrestle, even though she is well over a year old now, and she just loves to chill out in your blanket and so forth. And she's easily another of my heart rats, along with Bean. She's just such a sweet little rat, and I'm so glad that I got her, and there's just no way that I could have adopted her out because she's just way too sweet. There's just no way. She's also a lot of fun to train with, but she's a little bit more scatterbrained than let's say Bean. However, I do think that as she continues to learn more tricks, she'll just get better at that as well. Anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video, and hopefully you enjoyed this brief overview of my rats. I will go ahead and release the individual videos as well, so stay tuned for those. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!